Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel in my little apartment. Today is actually going to be a really, really fun video. I'm so excited to do this for you guys, but I'm going to be showing you guys an entire tour of how I do cosplay in my small apartment. If you've watched any of my videos, a lot of times I do my talking videos out here in my little living room and that's because my apartment is 560 square feet. So this is really small. A lot of people's bedrooms and bathrooms are actually bigger than my entire apartment, which is so weird to think about. So me and my husband both live here and we also have a cat. We have different interests and hobbies and styles. And so far, you know, we've lived together a long time and we've kind of merged everything together to make it work. There has been a lot of trial and error over the years about storing things, um, how to clean things, how to organize things in like a nice looking way. But I feel like I've really gotten it down this year, which is why I'm doing the video now. The other thing is that in a previous video, I talked about how we were going to get new flooring, which had been like a long time coming. We had literally had the same carpets here for over eight years since we moved in that, oh my God, those cheap, ugly carpets needed to be gone. We now have vinyl flooring, but because of that, I had to move every single piece of furniture I owned out of my apartment and then back in and then clean it. And when I did that, I also redecorated my bedroom. And as I redecorated my bedroom, I realized that my, my storage and the area where I keep a lot of my cosplay stuff, I think you guys would find really useful. I have taken inspiration from so many places. Um, I've taken a lot of inspiration from micro apartments in Japan, um, from minimalistic living in Norway and Scandinavia, um, to people who own cosplay workshops, to people who are costume and set designers that live in apartments. And over time, I have everything from like Pinterest boards and saved pictures and things that I draw out to like get my style across. We also collect a lot of art and things from going to conventions and events. So it's, it's kind of a big jumble of stuff in our apartment, but I'm going to go through it all with you guys. I'm going to tell you how I do what I do, what my space looks like so you guys can get a good idea. Um, and hopefully inspire you to also clean and reorganize in the new year. So let's get going and let's start this tour. Hey y'all, let's go. Okay, so entrance to the apartment is very narrow, as you guys can obviously see here. First things first, my painting on the wall, which is huge, and this is literally the only place that it fits. We're gonna walk into the apartment a little bit more, just so you can see what I see, and my list cat food and water, and of course our bar cart with all the bourbons. Above that, we have our large photo wall, and this is just where I put photos of places that we have traveled to and things that we have seen. We're gonna turn into the living room just so you guys can get a good glimpse about how everything is kind of laid out with both of the desks and the couch being right next door to them. And of course, in the corner of our living room, I have to show you guys our display case where we keep figurines, books, art, just anything that is kind of fun and um, show it off, but also keep it protected, keep it safe from dust. It all ends up in the case here. This is my working desk here, and this is where I do everything from sewing to putting together cosplay stuff, going on my computer, hanging out on my phone, or just sitting around sometimes. So I have literally not changed since I was 13 and I still collect stickers, but this time I actually stick them on things. So when I go home from a convention or when I buy something online, it gets stuck on something I see daily. My most expensive cosplay purchase is actually this desk, which is a lowering and rising mechanical desk that plugs in. I can adjust the height. It is so awesome. On top of my desk is my pen holder where I keep my box cutter, my scissors, my pens, my pencils, sometimes pins. I actually got it in a Japanese subscription box. It's super cheap, but it has Pikachu and Eevee on it and it's pink, so it's very cute. My sewing machine was actually a graduation gift from high school and I still have it. It still works awesome. It is a great piece of machinery and I use it quite a bit. Um, I just love how visual all of the stitches are on the side and um, it's still going on strong all these years later. 
So we're gonna take a quick peek under my desk where I actually have this fabric holder. I keep a lot of my iron on vinyl, plastic, really just anything that doesn't fit anywhere else goes into this bin and it can be kind of messy under here sometimes too. So these drawers that I have under here, I also bought from Amazon when I got my desk. They are heavy wooden sliding drawers and I keep a lot of tools organized in here as well as my thread, um, wire cutting supplies. I have everything from painter's tape to measurement tools. I have this little handy timer tool for plugging in other tools. I have an extension cord that goes with it. This is really like my most used drawer out of all of them, the very top one. In the second drawer, I have a magazine sitting right on top, but I actually use this drawer for pens and colored pencils. Um, this was the magazine my costume was featured in, so I'm trying to hide it back there. Third drawer is my picture drawer. So every time I go somewhere and take a picture, it gets printed and then set in here for safekeeping for later. Fourth drawer is where I keep DVDs, anime, as you can see Princess Jellyfish sitting right on top here. And the very last drawer is just my laptop case, um, some notes from when I make videos, and underneath I have some leftover cardboard from making patterns, so not uh, too organized in there. This pink desk chair was another Amazon purchase. It's very cute, quilted pink, but I keep a fake fur cover on it because it can get kind of hard when you sit on it for quite a while, and this just makes it a little bit cushier. And next to my desk, we have my husband's desk, which is actually a glass black desk that he bought on Amazon. And this is where he does all of his gameplay, um, hangs out, goes online while I'm doing costume work. Above the desk, we have a lot of artwork. We're actually trying to collect more movie and TV show posters of uh, things that we're into, so it looks a little bit bare right now. And then we have this really nice corner unit here where we can display more figurines and just some of our favorite video games. And to get to the bedroom is a very short walk through our hallway, literally a hop, skip, and jump away. Oh look, there's me in the mirror, hey guys. Um, our closet where we keep extra supplies and a giant box of books, which is totally always in there. Okay, let's head into the bedroom now and greet Milo. The very first thing you see when you walk in my room is all of my favorite manga on display in this corner shelf. And then we have this beautiful fox print that I picked up at Emerald City, which is one of my very favorite art pieces. Okay, so you can see how tiny my bedroom actually is just by looking inside. My favorite thing to do when I come in here is sleep lay down and just chill out. And the view from my bed just to show you how small it is, but how proud I am of how I've decorated it so far. This entire wall was made from things that I bought on Amazon, the floor length mirror, the neon sign, the fake boxwood panels. It's a really great place to see my entire costume all together and all the details and to just uh, say hi and talk to myself in the mirror, I guess. The neon light is great for just taking fun photos or having like some neon nightlight. And it actually turns on and off via a little switch. So it's super easy to just like click off at the end of the night. Our bedside table just has a multi-charger and the sunrise alarm clock to uh, help wake us up with some birdsong in the morning. Above my closet, I just hang up my hat so I can grab them really quick if I want to wear them. My closet door is covered in fake wood contact paper and then opening it up inside we have all my clothes which I try to arrange by color, we have my suitcase, and then in the very top of the closet I keep seasonal clothes, sandals, bathing suits, outdoor gear, a little bit of everything just kind of hidden away. Over in this dark dramatic corner, I call it Fox Corner because we have all of our foxes, this one being from our fox sponsor in Michigan. We also have my awe retail because I have nowhere else to put it right now, so just kind of hanging out here. Our window has a bunch of little plants and some vines up in it. 
just nice and cozy. This is one of my very favorite art prints of Sailor Moon and Tuxedo Mask, and I've talked about it in a previous video. It just sits right next to my clothing rack. This clothing rack is actually from Ikea. I have half clothing and half cosplay hung on it right now to save on some space. And below I have a shoe rack with half normal shoes and half cosplay shoes on the other side. And as you can see, I have a lot of costumes hung up. We have KDA Aubrey. We have Claire from Resident Evil. We have Star Guardian. We have All Out. There's just a lot of stuff that is shoved into this hanging clothing rack, but I love it. It's so convenient. Whenever I need a crafting supply, this is where I go. Two bookshelves from Target that are put together, filled with these nice little cubicles, and I keep all of my tools and crafting items in here. As you can see, they're labeled. That way I can keep everything separate and organized. Each fabric cube has a little handle so I can easily just pull it out and peek inside, grab things really quick, and attachments. Obviously, you can see I have zip ties, wire, elastic, and then in my foam drawer, I have just, oh my gosh, so much foam. Okay, let's, yeah, let's just put that back. The bins are also color coded. So pink is for accessories and cosplay um, gear. In this one, we have a lot of accessories that are organized in plastic bags. That way I can keep the entire costume together if I need to grab it really fast. I also keep a few foam accessories in here, like from my Aubrey costume, just so they don't get squished or ruined. I kind of gently set them in there. I even have the orb down there as well. I am a huge fan of reading, so it was really hard to get my bookshelf down to this many books at this moment. Here we have the All Out Aubrey um, arm piece. I have my Sailor Moon figurine. And next to it is my alarm clock that I have had since I was nine years old, still going strong. Um, this bookshelf has a lot of my very favorite manga on it too. I kind of halved it, so half manga, um, half books. You can see Nana on there, you can see Mars on there. Just a lot of stuff that I love to read. A lot of Holly Black and fantasy. Down in the lower shelves, we also have Stephen King, we have Cirque du Freak, and one of my favorites, Scott Westerfield, of course. This coat rack was originally in our entryway, but it's just way too small out there, so we moved it in here for outdoor coats and shoes and backpacks. The top of it has some plushies, including the first plushie I ever brought back from a convention for my husband. At the very end, we have the very last shoe organizer with some clothing bins in there. And then behind the door here is where I actually put paintings that I'm working on. So when there's a work in progress, I typically hide it behind this door. <laughs> on my ceiling, we have a whole bunch of string lights and fake plants and flowers, a mixture of things from Michael's, Amazon, even the hardware store. I just really like the vibe it brings. And also it makes me really happy to look up at the ceiling. And that's like the first thing I see when I wake up my dress form, which I bought actually during quarantine, pretty much just kind of moves around wherever I am in the apartment, wherever I'm working. And right now I have a Mew Ichigo costume on it because that is my most recent one, but you never know what you might find on this thing. Our bed is much lower now after we got rid of the box spring to save room and Milo spends most of his time on it, usually being cute, but a lot of times just uh, biting me instead. Under my bed is actually where I store a lot of my extra clothes and cosplay. So I have these hard shell plastic containers, which a lot of times I'll keep extra clothing and kind of like weirder clothing in. And of course I have hard shell containers with cosplay accessories like my foam wig heads, my Elderwood Ari foam outfit, extra tails, just a lot of stuff that I wanna keep safe and free from dust. Functional and hidden cosplay is always the best, greatest feeling ever. So I hope you guys got some inspiration for how to organize your cosplay supplies, even if you have the most minimal amount of space possible. I'll see you guys back here for the next video and have a good day.